with an upper, gradual upper float so there would be no air bubble caught in the flow of the thermal side. Turn the cutter a time or two, you tighten it up each time you go around. And it will cut the copper tubing for you. Okay, today we're going to debury, clean copper before we saw it. Now, you can take it and sand it like that. Get that copper real clean because that matters quite a bit. Or you can even use this to get the inside of the copper elbow clean. Same thing on the outside, you can use this. Get the copper real nice and clean. Good. Next thing we do is we start putting soldering flux on the, on the inside. Side to fit. That lets the solder flow real good. What you want to do is you want to kind of get the uh, joint right here nice and hot before you even apply any solder at all. Two by sixes, two by fours, put down there about three quarter of an inch in between the thing there where you're making them for three quarter inch copper tubing. That's about the size you need to make it. Lay your fin down in the center of it. Lay your pipe, metal pipe on top. Kind of get it started just a little bit. Well, a piece of angle iron or something across. Now 
that you fan, make sure the copper tubing is in the proper place. You know, the flow tube has got to have an upward slope to the to the tubing. You've got to make sure that that's done proper. First, you take line up your insulation. On your plywood. When it's covered properly, heat metal absorber plate underneath the uh, flow tube. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the uh, copper flow tube. And in a proper position on top of that sheet metal that's laying on top of heat resistance caulking. Put it on your flow tube. Press it down. Drill your hole. About six of them. But to begin with, probably about two, probably six is what you need to do. Go ahead and run your 7 8 8 sheet metal screw down in there and pull it up on your 4 bait treated plywood. And you do that on the whole flow tube where your flow tubes are covered with a zorber fin. And then you take paint, flash your polycarbon. Polycarbon is right one of the best for solar panels as far as it's better than glass really. 